Ultra Engine unlocks the full power of your GPU to deliver up to 10 times faster performance for your games. This video is an overview of our visual editor. The toolbar contains buttons to create a new map, open an existing map file, save the map, undo and redo operations. In the middle we have our mouse tools that are available to use. And on the right, these buttons will allow us to show and hide different elements of the interface, like so. The viewport panel below contains four viewports by default that can be browsed in 3D and 2D mode. This can be changed to a single viewport. Three viewports. or two viewports, whichever you prefer. The console below displays information from the program. It will show us warnings and errors that may occur. And it also allows us to type Lua code into the program to execute. Like so. The side panel contains three tabs, Objects, Projects, and Maps. The Objects panel shows all the objects we can create in the editor, and these are arranged in groups. Some of these objects will have uh, different properties that we can adjust. Like, for example, height map terrain, we can adjust the uh, resolution um, in the X and Y directions. The project tab shows our project folder and all the files in it. So on top we have the folder browser here and we can use that to browse around the project. And then below it shows all the files in that folder. We can hover over any of these files and it will show a larger thumbnail. And that's really convenient because we can get a good look at the item without having to even open it. Or we can double click on it and it loads up the model or whatever the item is and we can get a really good inspection of the all the details of this file we can edit the materials different properties and save it if we want we can open multiple files And the interface will be a little bit different based on what kind of uh, file we have open. The map tab will show all the objects in our scene up top. And then below this will show uh, a lot of properties that we can choose from. And we can also add components in this interface, but we'll get to that in a, in a different video. And then finally, the flow graph editor allows us to set up sequences of events with a visual interface. That's an overview of the main interface elements in the Ultra Engine editor.